talking about glute isolation, uh, and this comes in handy for anybody that has what we call sleepy glutes or glute amnesia. We often see this a lot with uh, our runners, some of our Ironman athletes. This is a great way to kind of engage the glutes before a run. And so what we're gonna do is we're not actually going through a movement per se, it's isolation holds. And we're gonna do a couple of them. So we're gonna em embrace like the old 80s uh, workout style. I want you to take a mini band and we're gonna put it at the bottom of the glutes. We're gonna get down on the floor and knees and ankles together at about a 45 degree angle. And we're gonna open into clamshell. And while we're here, I want you to squeeze and engage that top glute. So you may get a little fatigued on the bottom as well because it's being used as a stabilizer, but I really want you to feel and engage that top glute. So we hold this for about a minute and it gets tiring after a while. After a minute in that clamshell, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight both legs and separate the legs, separate the knees. Again, squeeze and engage that top glute. We'd flex the foot and hold this for another minute. Our third position is going bent knee at the top, still engaging and squeezing that glute, keeping it activated, holding for another minute. And our last one is bringing that knee back and that foot back just a little bit, still being able to en en engage the glute, squeeze the glute, but not hyperextending the back. So you shouldn't be feeling this in the low back. You should still be feeling this in the glute. I definitely recommend this um, before a run, uh, before any kind of ballistic warm-up, um, and adding it to your running routine.